welcome to another vlog this is gonna be like a studio vlog just showing you guys some stuff that I'm doing today um I'm gonna start by showing you guys some packaging like how I package my orders it's pretty simple I have a very minimal brand so I'm gonna show you I'm start you off with like how I package and I'm gonna show you some stuff that I have to work on like I said um, some cleaning <laughs> needs to be done because when I showed you guys my desk tour it was super clean everything was nice and neat which typically is how it stays because I, one I'm a germaphobe so I clean everything all the time but also because I do not like clutter I cannot live with clutter I don't like it it doesn't work for me so I'm gonna start by showing you guys how I package some orders I actually just got back from the um, post office and I had to go send some mail I also had to update my um, mailing address my PO box because I had one somewhere else and where I had my PO box originally it was like a private type company like my company but a private mailing place that has PO boxes but because of the whole pandemic they've been shut down too many days and I had I need access to my mail so I just closed that one and opened up another one way closer to my house so I'm very excited about that so um yeah that's a whole nother story but here's how I package my order so typically I'll come over here and let me move you guys so you can see what I'm doing so this is my workstation these are my healthy snacks <laughs> so I'll come over here with my places to order and most of my things will be inside of all of these drawers or it would be up here in one of these boxes um, because this is where I keep all of my mailing supplies so I would come over here I would grab one of the bikinis that's ordered I'll use this one as an example um, I would grab this bikini this is my mailing bag right here now I get a lot of questions about where I got this bag and all that stuff like who's my vendor <laughs> and all this stuff you guys you guys I I found this person very strategically um, all you have to do is type in swimmer packaging and so many different vendors will pop up it's gonna be up to you to decide your price range and which company is gonna work best for you but that's an individual thing um, also I don't want to give this vendor out because I had some complications and I feel like with an order like mine it shouldn't have any complications so you know just to spare you guys but you can definitely find some people that do this type of stuff just type in swimmer packaging ideas or swimmer packaging bags and this type of stuff will pop up i got mine custom obviously with my logo on it these are waterproof bags so when you put your swimwear in here like if you're traveling or something and you put your swimwear in here let's say you're traveling and you want to go swimming the day of your flight and you're rushing back you can put your wet swimsuit in here seal it off obviously wring it out to where it's a little bit more dry but seal it off and you can pack it in your bag and nothing else will get wet this is a travel bag it's convenient you can put makeup in here whatever you want but this comes with every purchase so yeah I'll take this right here and then I will set it down on my desk I would grab this box down and see this inside of here all this stuff in here is my packaging supplies and materials so let's take you guys to my desk really quick okay so when I'm about to pack my order I get all my supplies out and things like that so I'm gonna show you how I pack my orders first and then I'm gonna show you some supplies that I have been testing for you guys and then after I show you guys that you can let me know in the comment section if it's a video that you guys want to see to help you guys out with your um, branding and things like that so first let me get into how I package my orders because it's pretty simple and you know something you should see so <laughs> here we go okay so first I have my package right so this will be my package right here and then I will take out my poly mailer which is right here this is just a plain white mailer usually this would just work for one to two swimsuits depending on you know what you're purchasing or what you're buying or something like that but you just let the air out of this one you see it kind of deflates a little bit and it fits easier into um, the poly mailer but you will get your order in one of these this comes with every order like I said before and I could fit up to two in here depending on what style that you purchase if you don't um, if it doesn't fit into this package I have larger poly mailers but this is the same process of how everything will be packed so I would set this aside for right now and then I also have tissue paper that I like to wrap it in because I don't like to just slide it in there you know um, so I have tissue paper the tissue paper that I use is a sparkly I don't know if you can see it is it showing on camera it's like a sparkly type you know 
paper it's like glittery yeah you can see it a little bit but <laughs> I would use this right here before I package this up I would also insert one of these here this is one of my inserts right here it's a picture of me <laughs> you know mayhem swim and it says los angeles and on the back i used to write handwritten notes but now i have it to where i have an actual print right here a thank you note and i sign it myself each package i sign and i send off and yeah this will go in there but this i put the mailers the inserts inside of this packaging so this would go inside of here it would be facing the outside of the package I also like to insert a business card because sometimes you know people like to keep this in their purse or whatever you know your wallet something cute to have I just insert that just so you know you have extra confirmation where I'm at <laughs> I'll stick that in there make sure all the straps are in close it a little bit like half like a little bit before it's all the way closed again push all the air out and then close it off and then the next thing I would do is take my packaging paper and flip it on the actual right side oh it's glitter on both sides so I take this and I put it diagonally and then I'll fold it like you know basic little fold like that fold it tight and then I will insert it into this mailer but before I insert it I always have the packaging slip on top which is what you will print out every time somebody makes an order so they can see exactly what they ordered it's basically like their receipt so they know exactly what they purchased and they can't say well I ordered this or this you know so nah nah sis this is what you order so <laughs> I would take this package oh sorry see these little stickers I'm gonna get to this in a second um with other packaging items but I made this myself on the printer. There's a little folding thing in the back. So I would take this, peel it off. Stick the sticker on there so it stays closed. Insert this. Into the package. Again, insert the packaging slip close it off and then when I have to put the uh, mailing label the mailing address on there I use these these are so clutch you guys I advise you to order them it's the best thing that I've purchased to make my life easier and you don't have to use tape okay so you buy what you buy these are free on um, the USPS website this is called the PS form 2976 I think I'm gonna try to find it and link it below they're literally free you can order these they'll send them straight to your house within a couple of days and they'll be ready to go so what this is on the back see it's peeling this is a sticky film right so this would stick on once you peel this off you can set it down and it'll stick directly to here and you would fold your mailing label if you're printing it if you don't have a label I mean a, yeah, if you don't have a label printer then you can insert the address here and it'll, it has a little slit at the top that you slide it into see like a little pouch it opens and closes so this is where the mailing address will go their shipping label if you do that you will peel this little liner off that's blue right here and flip this down and it has a little sticky thing on there um, for me I add an extra layer of security I take a piece of tape off of here I just tear a little piece of tape and I stick it right on top of that just so I know it stays closed and then their shipping label will be in here you would just stick it down to this it sticks and everything is nice and neat and ready to go so that's exactly what that will look like and now let's get into some supplies that I think might also help you guys okay so what was I saying Oh, whatever um <laughs> this is the sticker paper right here I also got this from staples and that's what I printed these little stickers out on and this is just basic staples sticker paper it's the eight and a half by 11 inch sticker paper and it comes with 30 sheets which is amazing so you can print um, your own designs on here your own make your own stickers and things like that 
and um, this can also go through the printer again an inkjet printer because the inkjet printer prints high quality prints and it's made to do this type of stuff so you can't just use basic printers I think you can use this on a basic printer but I don't think the ink is gonna look as great so I would suggest you getting an inkjet printer if you can so you can just print out different stickers and things like that you can also make your own stickers and have them like as inserts for your brand or whatever it is that you want to use it for and this is also a good alternative for more packaging so I think this was about I think ten dollars or something like that this transfer paper was about twelve dollars if i'm correct either one of these neither one of these were over fifteen dollars each so that was a great deal for what you're going to be using it for basically so you can print out your own stickers and things like that as well and that's another alternative the other thing that is non-negotiable when it comes to your swimwear is your lining and that is in here so your swimwear lining okay these are the hygiene liners for your brand I don't know if it's focusing oops or this way the hygiene liners for your brand this goes inside of each piece that you make after you complete a design you stick one of these on obviously the crotch area and this is to secure your swimwear um, a lot of brands have return policies and this is a big issue with returns if this thing is broken if it looks misplaced if it looks like it's been tried on then you don't have to accept that return i do not have um exchange return things like that because um it's swimwear i work in more of a lingerie type field swimwear lingerie intimates you don't want to be returning this stuff especially if you create a policy and this thing is broken if this is not on your garment or it looks like it's been peeled off and put back on um that's a big no-no so you know you don't want to be doing that because technically you will have to damage the item out and you lose money so this is what it looks like once you peel it off of the paper so it looks like this see how it's clear it's see-through and it just says remove after purchase for fitting purposes um don't do try-ons and all that stuff it's just it's not okay to be returning stuff that's considered an intimate item but yeah non-negotiable you can buy these off of ebay i got mines off of ebay um i have this kind i also have the thong kind and i have just the straight the straight ones like the straight square i have those i have some custom ones that are actually um getting made right now through a vendor um you don't need to do that especially if you're just starting off i saved up to do this but um, I have some custom ones coming in. It just has my brand name on it, hygiene liners, and obviously the policy that I use. So it has stuff like that. So that's these are non-negotiable. This has to be in your swimwear. You should have this in your swimwear. So if you go on eBay and type in uh, swimwear liners, swimwear hygiene liners, lingerie liners, these type of things will pop up, and there's different options that you can have. I ordered mine, and I got mine back within like a week, the same week that I ordered it, and I got about 250 for like $10 of each style that I got. So $30, that's not bad. Um, the other thing I wanna show you, I don't know if, I don't remember if I showed you guys this in a pattern um, tutorial or not, but tracing paper. If you are making patterns, especially if you wanna transfer them over to something lighter, or if you don't wanna buy um, pattern paper or construction paper or anything, you can get tracing paper. Um, and this option is really good because you can draw the pattern on here and it's see-through. So every time you make a new size, you can just place it and keep drawing each individual pattern because you can see through it, right? And let me show you what it looks like when you do that. So it looks like this. This is one of my patterns, but see how each individual size is already on there and then when the pattern paper is not long enough all i do is join two pieces together and tape it i just put a piece of tape across wherever i need to add length to but it stores easy you see how nice and easy this is it's all lightweight you can store it in a folder you can store it hanging and it works out great so that's all i wanted to cover in this video um again let me know in the comment section if the Cricut machine is something you guys want to do a tutorial on or the iron on if that's something you guys want to see me do so you guys can know how to do it um i'll be more than happy to show you guys and yeah make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads and i'll see you guys on the next one peace <laughs>